share this channel on the internet. Here we go with this jet ski show. And I know before you guys asked me, why is that jet ski on the, on the ground? Well, the thing is this, I took it off the trailer to get the yellow one in first because I thought we were only gonna use the yellow one, but now we decided to use both. So we gotta now strap it again and put it in the water. And, well, semi cloudy. Let me check it, let me, let me, let me check semi cloudy but i guess it's the usual afternoon showers but it don't matter we're still gonna go gonna get wet no matter what We do it guys we got we're putting the gp in the water now so whoa i was scared <laughs> get tired of is being on the water. And to answer one of the questions that I got from one of the last videos of the jet ski is why do I always ride the yellow FX? Well, to me, the best comfortable ride is for the FX. Although the GP is a little faster, but I don't really care about speed. I care about comfort. scary <laughs> yeah, I think we should head back I wanted to go to the island up there but it is get us an island up there. oh okay let's get out let's go you see the thunder yeah yeah it's too much I don't want to get struck by lightning yeah it's crazy out here they got ugly Wait. Well guys, you already know that we're not afraid of a little bit of water on the top, but the problem is there was a lot of lightning and it sounded like they were pretty close, so we decided not to risk it and turn around and head back home. Right, turned out to be a mission. Uh, right, 
great. Woo. Look at that buoy. Well guys, after that one hour hurricane that passed by, we decided to pick up and take out the jet skis. Alright guys, so you guys saw it. We tried to go jet skiing. The weather got crazy here on the west coast within 10 seconds. I know it, it, this west coast loves getting us wet, but it's all good though. We enjoy it. We kind of like running away from the rain. But you know what? Since uh, this video was kind of cut short because of the weather, I'm gonna do something that a lot of people have been asking me to do and finally I guess today I'm gonna to do it everybody wants to know how I rinse the jet skis and it's pretty easy actually in the west coast I kind of like it because since remember my canal behind the house is brackish water the the skis don't get as salty as as they normally do so that's a good thing out here in the west coast but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what I do to maintain uh, my skis after a day of riding around. So first of all, grab the hose. There it is. Grab the water hose. And when you start wetting everything. Well, actually I don't really have to wet the trailer because since I don't put it in the water here, but I'll rinse it anyway. All right, what I like to do is just soak everything, you know, with the fresh water. It's just better to soak them with the fresh water. And then also what I like doing is spraying inside the jet. Inside the jet. There. Everything, I mean, I, I I drenched everything with fresh water. And then again, this side is jet. All right, here's something that over the years I like to do. Okay, I leave the plug on until I rinse everything. Because normally when you're riding, you're gonna get some kind of salt water inside the engine compartment. So what I like to do is, since I'm rinsing, if any, any fresh water is gonna get in, it's gonna stay in there and help out. Help out with the, you know, with the rinsing inside. So take that off, take that off, and take the main seat off. I take everything off. Okay, and something that a lot of people I see they don't do. All right, I like to flip the seat upside down rinse it down there too i like to rinse the seat down there too okay now i bathe everything and i and doing all this the plug's still on so the water settles inside okay everything down there i like to soak everything all right, because I notice no matter how good, you know, even on a flat day that you ride and normally the ski doesn't get splashed up here, but still, water still gets in the engine compartment. I don't know if it's to the vents or whatever, but I still see water, water, the salt dried up in top of the engine. And what I like to do is maybe every fifth ride, you see these bolts right here, these two bolts, I take them off and now you can see the actual head of the engine and then i will rinse that too but i did the last time so i'm not going to do it this time but this is what you do: you take out that bolt that bolt this plastic piece comes off you move it to the side and you spray it all on top of the the head there so it doesn't build corrosion and then also definitely inside here i spray inside there too i spray all in the in the storage compartment too are you there And now I do the same thing to the FX. I wet everything. Now 
Now, here is something that I like about the FX that the GP doesn't do. I mean, it doesn't have. This is what it is. See this compartment back here? Take this off. And the flushing kit inlets right here. First is right here. So this goes in here with the water hose. You put that in there, right? But now, this is the difference between the GP. The GP, it's right in there. Now, this is your electrical box. This, I just rinse really quick. I try not to wet this a lot because this is all electrical components. It is sealed, but just in case. So see, that's the flush inlet for the, for the GP. That's the difference in flushing. But this is what we do now. Now it's time to let it rip, baby. Now, this is something that's very critical with the uh, jet skis. A lot of people, I know in the boats is different. The boats, you actually hook up the water holes and you let the water run then you start the motor well uh jet skis wave runners whatever you want to call it personal watercraft uh that's the thing i have a few comments people say why are you calling a yamaha a jet ski when kawasaki's a jet ski i know what kawasaki's is a jet ski and a yamaha's a wave runner but people all around the world you say jet ski and they know what it is you say wave runner and some people might be puzzled so it's more common it's easier to say and everybody's used to it so i call it jet ski baby all right so this is the difference now you got to start the jet ski before you connect your water you connect your water right there now you let it run baby let it run and you're gonna see the water start to come out there and it's also coming out right here that lets you know that your water pump is working and nothing is clogged up in the system so you let it run i like to let it run for like maybe uh from three to five minutes now remember i am in brackish water behind my house so it doesn't get that salty but still i like to uh let it run from three to five minutes you know not that bad Right there, let it sit there. You can feel the water. And this is this is a video to please those people that they want to know. <laughs> they want to know how how to how I flush my jet skis. And also, by the way, I also have a video of how to change the oil on these jet skis. You don't have to go to the dealer. You buy yourself a pump. In the Yamaha kit and you can do it yourself at home. I'm gonna leave the link, I'm gonna leave the link on the video description in case you guys want to do your own oil changes. Really easy. It's really easy, it's not messy, super simple, and you can just do it yourself and save a lot of money and time, especially time. Because now dealers they're gonna keep your ski for like a week, a week and a half, maybe two weeks. So you can just do it yourself in an hour. So it's been running right there now. I'm gonna show you guys something else. Right, this is what you do. You gotta disconnect the water first. Like that it empties out the, the water box and the whole water system. And you can rev it up to create a little bit of pressure. And there you go, what I like to do is, you see how the water is still pouring? That means there's still water in the system. So I let it a few more minutes, I mean not a few more minutes, a few more seconds. That's it. That's how easy it is. And now we're gonna go with ski number two, the GP. Now remember, start it. Before you hook up the water, so let it run. And you connect your water and let it run about, like I said, from three to five minutes. I mean, that's me. I let it run, you know, from three to five minutes. And another thing, when I storage my jet ski and I just finished flushing them, what I like to do is leave the seats off. I like to take the seats off because like that, all the moisture gets out from the engine engine compartment. So I leave the hatchets, the hatch, the storage, the glove compartment, the everything. I leave it with the seats off for at least a day so it, everything dries out. And remember, remember, 
once you finish uh, flushing and rinsing everything to so open up your drain plugs and if you could lift up the trailer so all the water drains out the back of the drain plugs and then put the trailer back down my trailer is pretty well balanced so i can pick it up with no problem and then i let all the water come out of the skis and then i put it in storage and that's it that's how easy it is so there you go so those people that were questioning a video about uh how do i flush the skis here i've done super easy and like i said if you want to learn how to change your oil too you know uh, look for the link below and change your oil too it's pretty easy so guys until next time let's keep having fun in the sun it don't matter if it's a kayak jet ski boat a yacht a sailboat but just remember to keep having fun in the sun